Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. This is the very first video of Lightning Web Component series. In this video, I will be discussing about the introduction to Lightning Web Component. I am creating a separate playlist for uh, the videos related to Lightning Web Component on YouTube. So you can follow that playlist so that you can understand the different features of Lightning Web Component. Let's understand Lightning Web Component. So first of all, I'm going to discuss about the introduction. So basically Lightning Web Component is an implementation of the W3C's Web Component Standard. So W3C is basically an organization which is World Wide Web Consortium. So Lightning Web Components are based on W3C's Web Component Standard. It supports the part of the web components that works in the browser and we can add parts supported by Salesforce as well in Lightning Web Component. Now, what are the benefits of LWC? LWC means Lightning Web Component. So it is a common term. It uses modern JavaScript with ES6+, plus, uses web standards to the Lightning Component Framework, Quip component development because developer has to use only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So with the help of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we need to build the complete Lightning Web component. And if we want to interact with the Salesforce S objects, then we can implement Apex class and we can connect that Apex class with Lightning Web component. But majorly, we need to focus on these three files, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Code performance using web standards boost performance because more features are executed natively by the browser instead of by a JS framework. So because of this reason, performance is increased if you use Lightning Web Components. More on LWC. So most of the code we write is standard JavaScript and HTML along with CSS as well. So if you write most of the code with JavaScript and HTML, so if you want to find some solution, so uh, on web, there are common places where you can find the solutions for JavaScript and HTML. There are lots of communities available where some solutions of the problems are available. So you can go through with those. LWC is lightweight and delivers exceptional performance. We can utilize full encapsulation. So component become more versatile. So these are more features of Lightning Web Component. So that makes it more powerful as compared to Aura Component. And nowadays it is more popular. And in real time client projects, we need to implement Lightning Web Component in place of Aura Component. Now let's discuss about the files that we need to create if you are creating any Lightning Web Component. So you just have to create three simple files. One is HTML, which provides the structure of component. So whenever you load your component on the browser, so whatever you write in the HTML, so that will be rendered on the browser. Then comes JS, which is JavaScript. So it defines the core business logic and event handling. So whatever logic you want to build that will be executing on the client machine. So that business logic you can implement in the JavaScript. And if you have to implement any event handling, event handling means, for example, in HTML, you have created a button. And if you click on the button from the UI, and if you want to perform certain operations, so that is basically known as event handling. So if you click on the button, so an event is generated and that generated event will be calling some function and that function you need to define in the JavaScript file. Then comes CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheet, which provides look and feel to the component. So whatever styles or designing you want to apply to your component, so that related code you need to write in the CSS file. Now, if you compare Aura and Lightning Web Component bundles, so here uh, you can see the comparison. So in first column, resources are available, then Aura files and then LWC files. So if you need to implement Aura Component, so for markup, we have test.cmp, 
for controller test.controller.js for helper test helper.js for renderer test renderer.js so controller helper and renderer these are written in javascript so if you know aura component or if you have gone through aura implementation already then you can relate what is controller helper and renderer so these are written in javascript now if i compare markup so in lwc we have test.html instead of test.cmp we need to implement test.html then controller helper and renderer all three files are combined together and you just need to implement one javascript file so if you save your component with test name so you can see html javascript css all files will be having the same name but in case of aura they have different notation like uh, component will be having test.cmp name then controller helper and renderer these words will be added with test so that you can uniquely represent uh, those javascript files if if we write test.js test.js for both controller and and helper so it will be difficult to distinguish them so that is why this naming convention is used in aura then if we go for css so in aura we will be using test.css and same in lwc as well in aura we have documentation file but in lwc we don't have that file for design we have test.design file in aura and in lwc we have test.js-meta.xml so basically it decides like if you place any component on the page and if you want to retrieve some parameters so in aura basically uh, we use test.design file in lwc this .xml file uh, fulfills two purposes one is if you want to retrieve some input from user while placing the component in terms of parameters so you can define that in dot xml file second use is if you want to define like where we can place our component so for example if you want to place your component on home page or app page or record page so that thing you need to define in dot xml file like on which place you want to place your component so later in this video i will be discussing about um, a dot xml file then you will be able to understand or relate that thing and last is svg file so in aura we have separate file for that test.svg but in case of lwc we can include it in html or like we can use static resource as well so this is the brief comparison between aura and lwc and in upcoming videos a detailed comparison i will be uh, providing you so that you can just compare the features as well so here we are just comparing the naming convention of the files like for which resource which file we need to use but later on you will see like complete and detailed comparison as well now this is the first file that you need to implement in lightning web component so it is basically html file so it will begin with template markup and it will close with template markup and inside template you can write other html markups so here you can see input is available which is having one attribute value then in curly braces we are using masses so masses is basically a property so if i compare it with aura so in aura basically we create attributes so attributes are known as variables in aura here in lightning web component you need to create properties so properties are equivalence to uh, variables or you can say uh, attributes those we create in aura so this message is a variable technically we will be saying it as a property and uh, in lightning web component whatever property you will be using so those you need to declare in javascript file in aura generally we create attributes in uh, component markup file but in lightning web component you need to create all the properties in javascript and then you can use them in html and you just need to enclose them in uh, curly braces you don't need to use any exclamation sign right so this is simple html file so this i am showing you just for understanding purpose later on i will be uh, in another videos i will be giving you the full demonstration with the help of vs code so after this video or next video will be telling you like how we can set up vs code and how we can create our first lightning web component so after this if i move forward so this is the 
brief layout of JavaScript file, how it will look like. So in the first statement, you can see we need to write import. Then in curly braces, lightning element is written. Then from, and then in single quotes, LWC is written. Then in next line, export, default, class, mycom, extends, lightning element. So the second line, lightning element is the same which we are importing in the first line. And then here you can see we have a property declared masses equals to hello world. So in JavaScript, like if you want to create any variable that is equivalent to property, so you just need to write the name of that property. You don't need to define any data type. Type is defined by the value that you are assigning into that property, right? So now I'm going to explain you what is this lightning element? What is this LWC that we are using here? So in the next slide, you will see the complete uh, description. So the lightning web components uses modules. So what is module? Like it is built-in modules were introduced in ECMA script six. So module is basically to bundle core functionality and make it accessible to the JavaScript in your component file, right? So module is basically a bundle of core functionality that we can use in our JavaScript file. The core module for Lightning Web Component is LWC, right? So you can say like the LWC, if I go back, so the single quotes LWC, which is written after from, it will be known as module. And uh, uh, you need to begin the module with the import statement and specify the functionality of the module that uh, your component uses. So the import statement indicates the JavaScript uses the lightning element functionality from the LWC module. So if I go back, so lightning element, which is enclosed in curly braces, it is a functionality that we want to import. And where this functionality is available, so it is available in LWC module. So in every lightning web component, this statement you need to use because this is the basic functionality. Lightning element is a basic functionality that you need to use. In the second line, you can see we are extending it in our component. So here class name is mycom. So whenever you create any lightning web component, so the name of component will be the name of class name automatically. And export default means like if you want to export this JavaScript file into any other Lightning Web component, so uh, you can use this keyword here. And message is the property which is having hello world as a value. So this way, I hope briefly you understood this, but later on in another modules or videos, I will be explaining these terminologies in detail so that you can understand. Okay, so moving forward, third is our CSS file. So here in our HTML, you can see we are using input markup. So if you want to define a CSS for this input markup, so how you will be writing it? So you just need to write markup name input and in the curly basis, you can write the complete CSS, right? So color colon green means that your input uh, markup, when it will be rendering on the UI, so it will be having the color value as green. Then next is component configuration file. So this is the file which is actually known as, so I'm just moving back to that table, which I explained you. So if you see the second last, second last row, which is related to design. So in LWC file column, we have test.js hyphen meta.xml, right? So this file is basically known as configuration file. So if I go to the slide, so here you can see this file is having different code and whenever you create your lightning web component, so this file is created automatically. That also we will see when I will be practically demonstrating that thing. So uh, generally when this file is created automatically, so it will be having the latest API version automatically is exposed will be false by default. It means false represent your lightning web component cannot be used on any uh, place like home page app page record page but if you want to use your lightning web component on any of the page or let's say experience builder site or lightning flow so anywhere wherever you want to use it so anyhow is exposed you need to set as true and then you need to define the targets so here you can see three targets are available. First is home page, then record page, and then app page. So 
it means this lightning web component where this configuration file will be defined so that lightning web component can be used on home page as well as on record page and app page you can also use any one statement like if you want to place your lightning web component on home page only so you can just remove record page and app page statements so no worries you you don't need to write all three lines together so it depends on the requirement wherever you want to place your component so we discussed about HTML file, JavaScript file, CSS file, and configuration file. So these are only four files that you need to manage while building your Lightning Web component. And uh, this is last uh, point of uh, this video. So uh, important to remember is like Aura components can contain Lightning Web components, whereas reverse is not possible. Lightning Web components cannot contain Aura components because Lightning Web Components doesn't know anything about Aura. Whereas Aura can contain Lightning Web uh, Components because uh, Aura knows about Salesforce related stuff and uh, web standards. So that is why it is possible, but Lightning Web Components cannot contain Aura Component. So this you need to remember. So this was a brief explanation about Lightning Web Component in the introductory video. In later videos, like in upcoming video, I will tell you how we can set up VS Code and other things so that we can create our first lighting component. Then I will tell you the difference between Aura and LWC in detail, and then the features related to Lightning Web Component. So do follow all the videos so that you can become zero to hero in Lightning Web Component because in small videos, I will be covering only one feature, right? So it is easy for you to practice one topic every day because I will be uploading videos every day. So you can just follow the playlist and just practice one feature every day. And soon you will be having all the knowledge related to Lightning Web Content. Thank you.